Hey everybody, welcome back to the brand new release preview video. We've got three of these to do tonight. I'm going to do one and release it on Thursday. And then the other two, Pro Debut, which I'm pretty excited for, will be released tomorrow on Friday. I've got a hobby and a jumbo. Just still waiting on the folks to pay for those preview videos. And we'll be breaking the Pro Debut also probably this Sunday. Lots of stuff coming up here. We've got a Chrome Hobby Break tonight. And um, with that being said, just kind of telling you what's coming up, I hope that you'll please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I think we just hit 99.5K today. Only 500 away from 100,000 subscribers. Thank you so much, everybody, for your support. Uh, I just really, really appreciate it. All right, so let's take a look at what we've got here. This is a Prism Quick Pitch box. It's kind of like a mini box. Take a look. I have a couple extra Prism boxes on my shelf. And uh, notice any difference between the two? Yeah, this is like Big Daddy right here. This is the regular hobby box, and this is the quick pitch box, much smaller. Now, there's a lot of uh, empty space here that's not being used. The pack's just kind of like stacked up right in there. In the hobby box, you get 12 cards per pack, 12 packs per box, so 144 cards in this. In this other box, the quick pitch box, you get 18 packs, so more packs, but only five packs per box. So if my math is correct here, I'm guessing that's, what, 90 total cards. So less cards by a little bit, but the product is also about half as much, um, which is good. There's Aaron Judge again on the front of the box. This product has a little more prisms and parallels and here you can see there's two exclusive silver prisms per box on average now if you're wondering about the autograph issue which you definitely want to find some autos the autographs still remain there's one per box though and um, there's also a quick pitch exclusive there's donut circle prism parallels or one of one black finite prisms you can only find those donut circles in prism quick pitch which is one of the reasons people really enjoy this product uh, it's, if you're a Panini fan. If you hate Panini, then you're not going to enjoy anything that they put out. I realize that. So let's go ahead and bring in our sponsor. It's James. James, thank you very much. Hope we can find some good stuff for you in this box. If you'd like to become a Patreon member like James, it's $3 per month. Uh, there's also higher tiers if you'd like to get monthly boxes and packs sent out to you. But there is a link in the description to this video if you would like to participate. And we would love to have you aboard. Lots of breaks coming up. We have, like I mentioned, the Chrome Hobby Break tonight. It'll be by the stack. Um, I think I'm taking Friday off from doing live streams because there's just been so many new releases coming out left and right. It's kind of, uh, my head's kind of twirling here. Saturday, we've got a Saturday showdown. We'll have Chrome for that. Um, Sunday we'll be doing pro debut as well. So lots of uh, opportunities for everybody. So James, let's see if we can find five cards for pack. Prism quick pitch. All right, so you already know all about Prism. Here's the donut circle cards that you're gonna be seeing. These are new and they're very, very snazzy. Kyle, Cody, this one is numbered out of 40, 20 of 40. There's Vladdy and a Harmon Killebrew is the last one right there. I'll have to keep, try to keep track of how many different, I, I, I guess I'll keep track of how many different prism parallels that we find here. Now we also have a refractor there as well. I don't think I'm gonna put the, should I keep the, man, we'll run out of space if I do it like every um, refractor and stuff like that. I'm gonna, just gonna do like the numbered stuff, I think. Raphael Devers, pack number two has a nice key, Brian Hayes in there, Christian Pache as well, and Will Crow. Like I said, one autograph per box. We'll see who we get in this one. Tristan McKenzie, Ian Anderson, we have a blue donut circle. Check this one out. It is a Kirby Puckett. The number on the back is a 44 out of 199. Nice card right there. Mike Piazza, Hall of Famer, and Jose Abreu having yet another great season for the White Sox after winning the MVP award in the shortened 60-game season last year. Carlos Correa. Made it known he's not going to deal with the Astros anymore. He's done. He's like, uh, this is my last year with the Astros. I think, um, you know, I don't know how you feel about that. Uh, I feel like anywhere he goes, he's not ever going to be really fully accepted. I mean, George Springer went to the Blue Jays. I'm sure the Blue Jays fans love him up there. But even on the road nowadays, he still gets heckled. And I think I saw a video pop of him I recommended. Uh, there was even home fans still heckling him. Next pack up, I see another one of these nice 
Donut Circles. This one's going to be an Andy Young Red Donut Circle. It's out of um, 99. This would be a great product for a Saturday showdown. It, it could be very, very cheap, too, because if you think about it, there's, what, 18 packs in here? The buy-in for this could be extremely low, um, like 10 bucks or less. Here we go with the next one. So that might be something on the in upcoming Saturday show. Now I've got Chrome this weekend. Next weekend, I might do Immaculate. I have six boxes of that. I have Chrome Jumbos left. I have this that I could put in there. So the Saturday Showdowns, if you're unfamiliar and you're new to the channel, it's basically a box war where the lowest numbered card gets all of the cards in the case or the division, however we decide to set it up. Here we go with our next pack. Still looking for the auto. Here's a blue Spencer Howard donut circle. It is numbered on the back a six out of 199 so these are definitely nice looking cards for sure the donut circles i'm not a huge fan of panini you guys know that i'm a tops guy so i was devastated by the tops um licensing news that came out about a week ago or so but um i guess i'll have to hold my breath and see what happens there we've got an upside down card it's a ryan weathers likely the autograph 13 out of 49 and that is a donut circle autograph ryan weathers so the donut circles just keep on coming we've got five of them and it, you can see it's roughly like well, this is our ninth pack now i think because we've completed one full side of it it's more than every other pack has a donut circle numbered card so this would be a fabulous choice for the saturday showdown jared kelnick we got Charlie Blackman Donut Circle. It's numbered out of 199. Looks like 84 out of 199. Nice looking card right there. John Aheim and Freddie Freeman. So moving on now to stack number two for James. You already got your autograph. We know what that is. It's Ryan Weathers. Let's check out the rest of these. See if we can find like a, one of those one of ones that they were talking about on the box or maybe we'll find a you know nice low number rookie bat donut circle like something maybe out of five or ten here's another blue we got a ramon or rios the blues are out of 199 we're seeing quite a few of those as you can tell that's our what fifth blue i guess i'll just start a whole new new uh, row here next up We've got a green coming up. The green is going to be a Will Clark. So Will the Thrill, for those of you that are Giants fans and probably grew up loving him. Um, did I not see a number on this Will Clark? Maybe the greens are not numbered, which is kind of surprising um, to me because that's the first one we've pulled. I would figure if it's not numbered, they probably produced a bunch of them. Maybe because it's a Tier 2 card if you're on – or Tier 3. Wow, so that is pretty rare. If you're unfamiliar with that whole – process there's three different tiers to the prism set tier one are the most common then there's tier two which is rare i think you might get one or two tier two cards per pack and then tier three is the toughest to find i can't remember if those are one per pack or not but they are tough to find um so that one will clark is probably the rarest card we've found so far possibly there's a mac scherzer blue on the back out of 199 another donut circle card Luis Alexander Basabe and Jordan Alvarez. We still have about, I don't know, five packs left. Hopefully everybody's having a very nice Thursday today. Tomorrow's Dave Matthews band here in Pittsburgh. I'm selling my tickets. I have front row tickets if anybody is interested in them. Um, I'm just looking to get back what I paid for them or close to what I paid for them. They were the premium tickets. I'll probably mention in the live stream tonight. Um, I am no longer able to go. It breaks my heart. Been waiting for this for about two years, but cannot go. Next up, we have Starling Marte. Starling Marte, it is a red bat donut. It is out of 99. Nice one right there. Starling Marte. Three packs left. We'll probably find at least two more of these bat donuts. We've got Jeff Bagwell, Kyle Hendricks, Aaron Judge. That one, unfortunately, did not have one of those guys, so to speak. Next pack up, we've got ourselves Trevor Larnock. There's Frank Thomas, Nick Madrigal, one of um, you know one of the better rookies in this class. Definitely has the hit tool. A shame he had to get hurt out for the year. Now, of course, he's traded to the Cubbies out of 199. And here's our final pack of this video. You can see we pulled so far a grand total of six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It looks like eleven total bat donuts, and that's what we're gonna finish up with. Eleven bat donut parallels within 
18 packs, not too bad. So yeah, you're getting more than one in every other pack, which is, is pretty good. Would definitely make a very interesting and inexpensive Saturday showdown down the road. So make sure you join up on Patreon if you are interested in something like that and uh, possibly winning all of the cards in that showdown just because of, uh, you know, you get lucky and get a nice low numbered parallel in your pack. So thank you very much for watching, everybody. I hope you'll join us a little bit later tonight in the Chrome Hobby by the Stack break. Um, probably will be live with that maybe around 8.30 p.m. Eastern time or so. So hope to see you then. And if not, I hope to see you tomorrow. We have a Topps Chrome Face-Off Friday 2020 Chrome versus 2021 Chrome. And then I'll have those pro debut preview boxes for you. I'm waiting on those preview folks to pay. If they don't take them, then I'm going to take those spots and rip those open because there are a ton of hits in pro debut. A hobby box has four hits in it. Can't wait to rip that open. In fact, I'm staring at it right now, considering if I should just open it literally right now after I finish this video up because um, it's going to be a fun rip. So um, we'll also have that in a live stream for you guys as well, coming up likely on Sunday. So again, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have a great rest of your Thursday, and I will see you all tomorrow. Good night, everybody.